All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about pointers and flushers. Guys, it's pretty simple. I hunt pointers and flushers every day when I'm out guiding. But there's got to be certain rules that these dogs have to follow, all right? If we're going to hunt our dogs, they have to be well trained. The biggest problem that people run into when hunting pointers and flushers is their flusher starts hunting their pointer. Obviously, our pointer is going to be out in front a little bit further, right? So what happens? Pointer goes in, bam, sticks his point. Flusher sees the pointer go on point, runs up, takes the bird out 100 yards in front of the hunters. And what do we got? We got a dog that's poaching, okay? So what happens? All of a sudden, our flusher starts hunting our pointer in the field. And then what do we have? We got big problems. So we got to, so we got to go back to what I preach about all the time is yard work. As long as we have two dogs that honor each other and work well together. So the biggest problem with hunting pointers and flushers together is getting your flusher to honor your pointer. And that comes to a lot of sit to a whistle work, all right? So ideally what, you know, what I'm gonna show you today and what I like to see is pointer goes on point, flusher comes in, acknowledges the point, sits, watches the whole thing play out and you release both dogs. 